Hey there, everyone. So today we're going to go over the three ways to delete your Google search history for whatever reason. It's super easy to do, but if you stick around until the end, actually, I'll give you an even better alternative than relying on Google, because even though your search history is deleted on your device, Google still retains that information on their servers. So if you want to stay completely off the grid, then I've got just the thing. But first, let's talk about how you can delete your Google search history. So to delete your Google search results, you go to your Google homepage, then you head to the top right over here where this icon is, you click on that, then you click on manage your Google accounts. And from here, you go to the left hand side where it says data and privacy. Now, this might change because it has changed in the past from data and privacy to data and activity. So as long as you see data and something else, that's where you got to go. So you click on that and then you scroll a little down and then you see the history settings and you'll find the my activity option. Click on that. And so from here, you have multiple options. So you can either delete all the search results from any given day or some search results from that day. So if you want to delete all the search results from, let's say, March 4th, you go to this X over here, click on it. And then in the bottom left, it's going to show you that it's deleting and it's going to confirm that it has been deleted. Now, if I want to delete a particular search result, I do a similar process. So you click on this X over here and then it's going to delete it and it's gonna confirm that it has been deleted. So it's as easy as that. And you can also search for particular items as well because you have this search bar right here and you just input what you're trying to find. For example, the Canucks, this is my favorite hockey team. And so you can look for anything you searched regarding that particular topic. So I can delete everything from uh, the day that I searched this or I can delete the particular search item from that day as we've already discussed. So there's no need to really go through that again. But if you wanna just uh, remove this topic, just click on the X and then there you go. And now let's talk about how you can set up an auto delete system. So to do so, you can either remove the web and app activity, timeline or your YouTube history. For this example, let's go to the web and app activity, but the system is the same for whichever one you choose. So just follow the following steps. So let's click on web and app activity. You scroll down to the bottom here and you're going to see this auto delete on. So you have to turn it on first. So it'll say if it's on or off right here. So just click on this to turn it on or off. Anyways, we go down here, we click on deleting activity older than 18 months. And from here, you can choose whether you don't want to delete activity or how frequently you want it to delete it. So you have a few options. So it's three, 18 or 36 months. I have it in 18 months. And so once you've picked the one you want, just click on next and then it's going to do its process and it's going to tell you that it's saved. And then there you go. That's all there really is to it. And now to go back to your Google activity, you go back to this or go to the top left and then you will go back to the uh, Google activity. And the last thing on our list is how we can delete our Google search history. Like I mentioned at the beginning, you can actually delete all of your search history because Google will retain this data. But I'll talk about how you can stay off the grid after we've covered this step. Now, you go to this option right here that says delete. You go to all time and then you click on next. You can make sure that all of these are checked marked off if you do want all of this data to be removed. Now, in this case, I'm just gonna leave it on and I'm gonna to go to next. And then of course, it'll ask you again if you want to delete everything and you want to, so you click on deletes. And then after that, everything's deleted. There's nothing else that you need to take care of. As you can see, my search history is totally wiped out. And so we've covered the three main things that I wanted to talk about. But of course, there's the last option. So if you're really keen on maintaining your privacy, your best option is a VPN or a virtual private network. And when discussing the advantages of a VPN, it's important to note that it serves as a crucial tool for enhancing your online privacy. A VPN encrypts your online traffic and disguises your IP address, essentially creating a secure and private browsing experience. And this is vital in an era where digital footprints are closely monitored and you get a false sense of security when you supposedly delete your search history. But out of all of the VPNs that I've used, ExpressVPN stands out due to its stringent no logs policy. This policy is a commitment to privacy, ensuring that whatever you do online will not be recorded or stored. 
Therefore, ExpressVPN is my personal choice for anyone trying to maintain their privacy as it guarantees that your data remains confidential and is never retained. If you're interested, you can check out the description for discounts and deals on ExpressVPN and other popular VPN providers that I actually talk about in my video about my favorite VPNs. So you can check out all of that and another video where I go into more depth about what a VPN actually is and a Turkish Express VPN server incident that is actually an interesting story. As for this video though, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, then consider hitting the like button and subscribe for more cybersecurity tips like this and ask any further questions that you may have in the comment section below. In the meantime, I'll catch you in the next video and take care.